afternoon, this is the History of Canby documentary and today we will be looking at some of the major events that built my adopted hometown. On January the 31st, 1953, the North Sea flood hit the island during the night and caused the deaths of 58 people. Many of the victims were in the holiday bungalows of eastern New Lindsay State and perished as the water reached ceiling level. The small village area of the island is approximately two feet above ceiling level and consequently escaped the effects of the flood. This included the local Red Cow pub, later renamed King Canute, in reference to the legend in the 11th century Danish King of England commanding the tide to halt with the sea lapping at his feet. After the flood, a new sea wall was built, which then replaced with this significantly larger construction in the early 1980s. The first location we have come across was the cause of the Great Canvey Flood. That's it, Canvey Seafront. The North Sea Flood of 1953 devastated the island, costing the lives of 58 islanders and led to the evacuation of 13,000 residents. Canvey is consequently protected by modern sea defences compromising 15 miles of concrete sea walls. We've just caught up with Mick. Mick, how long have you been on the island? Uh, I've been on the island since 1969, as a, having come down from uh, London with my family. And uh, I've had some fantastic times down here. I mean, years ago, we used to have the old seawall, which was like a monopoly, a monopoly thing on your monopoly board. But now, in the 80s, they've built this big structure up here to guarantee we won't have floods like in 53. And I know a lot of people that was involved in the floods in 53. And um, I'm grateful that we're so well protected down here. So how much do you know about the history of Canvey? Well, the history of Canvey, it was basically, Cornelius Vermoyden was a Dutch engineer. In the 1600s, he created a dike. He didn't put his finger in it. But he created a dike that protected the island until later on the Monopoly uh, wall, like I said, the Monopoly wall went up after that, after the 53 floods, which actually started at the back of King's Holiday Camp. It was a small gains area. That's where the breakthrough was. Originally a builder's directory followed the Second World War established in the community, for the community, and have served many generations of the same families for years. Canvey Island was drained and embraced by the Dutch engineer Cornelius Verboden in the 17th century. Numerous Dutch workers and their families settled here and they built a rather unusual octagonal cottage of which two still survive. This cottage is now run on the Borough Council's behalf by the Benfleet and District Historical Society as the Dutch Cottage Museum, opened in 1962 after it was restored, repainted and had its conical Ruth rethatched. Canvey Island was drained and embraced by the Dutch engineer Cornelius Vermeden in the 17th century. Numerous Dutch workers and their families settled here and built rather unusual octagonal cottages of which two still survive. This cottage is now run on the Borough Council's behalf by the Benfleet and District's Historical Society as the Dutch Cottage Museum, opened in 1962 after it was restored, repainted and had its conical roof refactored. We're in the garden of the Oyster Fleet Hotel Bar overlooking the picturesque lake. Its beautifully maintained lawns provide the perfect settings for weddings. This lake existed as a means to facilitate the salt making process during the Roman settlement of the island and is thought to have once functioned as an oyster bed. Ergens in ons land zullen deze mensen een tijdelijk tehuis vinden. Nederland zal hen liefdevol opnemen. Maar hun gedachten zullen blijven bij de grond die zij bewerkten, bij de dorpen waarin ze woonden en bij de doden die ze moesten achterlaten. Nu al meer dan 1300. Het Nederlandse volk waarvan deze mensen deel uitmaken. Wij allen zullen hen moeten helpen. Geen offer mag te groot zijn om deze landgenoten weer te doen terugkeren naar hun land. Het land dat nu nog verdronken ligt, maar dat weer boven zal komen. <tied> 